rule. So we got Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson teaming up for an action comedy. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, welcome back to my opinion slash review for the Hitman's Bodyguard. I really do appreciate it. And before I get into the review, help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and become one of my subscribers. Help me reach my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. But now... We have the Hitman's Bodyguard, like I said before, starring Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. And I was really looking forward to this movie. When I first saw the trailer a few months ago, I was laughing during the trailer. And I was also very impressed by the action, the amount of action that the trailer had in it. I thought that I was like, wow, this is, looks, you know, pretty fun. It's like a, a true comedy, you know, with sprinkles of action more than just an action movie. And uh, I'll go ahead and say that's pretty, that's, that's very true. This is rated R, which I really do appreciate because even though this is more of a comedy, when the action is at the center of the screen, it is some top knocks action. There is a lot of blood and they are, you know, blowing off a bunch of heads. And I really did like that a lot. But when the movie ended, I said to myself, I was like, wow, you know, about this movie, there was not one character in this movie that I did not like. I love all the characters, even the director. And he didn't make any debut or any cameo in the movie. His name is Patrick Hughes. And if you've, um, you know, he's new to me. He did The Expendables 3, which I did not like. He also did a movie, I think it was either 2010 or 2012, called Red Hill. And I, I never seen that before. I uh, never heard about it. And I really didn't pay too much attention to who directed this film uh, before I saw it. Uh, but he did a really good job. One of the things that I'm always talking about that I love in a movie is on oh, just one moment okay sorry about that one of the things that i love in a movie is when they either shoot an action scene or just a scene whatever type of scene it can be with one take with no breaks with no cuts or anything like that or at least gives you a, the illusion of that this movie was full of that it was like instead of just like you know one or two good scenes like atomic blind it had maybe about three or four scenes uh in that movie this movie the hitman's bodyguard had like 17 and it, i was just like wow i can't believe you know they did it like this and it most likely wasn't all just in one take or one shot there was probably some camera tricks here and there but um that is one thing that i did like around about the director's touch this was kind of shot in a way that i've never seen before and also the soundtrack or the score was very good as well except for this one um like heavy metal rock song during the middle of it it kind of just like oh that's kind of drawing i didn't like that but you know, I said out of all the characters, I liked them all. He's not really a character. Patrick, he's a director, but I liked him. But of course, the main two stars, Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson, I love both of their characters. They both really just played themselves. Ryan Reynolds played himself and Samuel Jackson played himself to where, you know, you, he's known for yelling and screaming, you know, bitch, please motherfucker you know stuff like that that was all throughout this movie from beginning to end and i was laughing my ass off from beginning and end too but jumping back to ron reynolds character like i said he was playing himself but this was all he was himself as far as the humor and the snarky comments and the dry humor that he's known for but he was he was also like a mature version of that he wasn't like you know, being childish and silly and over the top. And I don't mean that to say uh, like Deadpool because that's just one character he plays. But if you know, his, if you've seen his stand up before or you've seen his movies, you know, you get a good sense of his personality. And I really did get a good sense of, this here, of that here in this movie. And I really did with Samuel L. Jackson as well. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, well, no, I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm going to stick uh, stick on the characters. Uh, Selma Hayek is also in this movie. Uh, she did a great job. Uh, she was kind of, you know, over the top, you know, loud and bossy. But deep down in her core, she was soft, you know, like a marshmallow or something like that. Just, you know, a very sweet woman. But it was pretty entertaining to see her go off on screen, too. And I don't want to say who she is necessarily related to in this movie. That's just a surprise. Uh, 
Carly Young is also in this movie. The uh, the young, beautiful actress that played the uh, Electra and the Defenders and Daredevil series uh, on Netflix right now. And um, she did a great job as well. Um, I actually think she did a great job, a better job in this than she did uh, in her role in Electra and Daredevil and uh, the Defenders, which actually comes out in a few hours, a couple of hours. Um, because in that, you know, I wasn't that impressed. I don't think her acting was too good, but you know, this is an action comedy. You know, I'm not expecting uh, great a uh, acting, but I did like her role. Um, you know, she, she did a good job. She was able to emote, show frustration, uh, and, in hard times. And, um, you know, I believed her when she was in danger in this movie and, um, you know, you know, I, yeah, I, I really liked her. The person that I, I like the most out of all is Gary Oldman. He plays the villain in this. Uh, he did a phenomenal job. He is such a great actor. Uh, I cannot remember if he's won any awards before. I'm pretty sure he's won at least uh, one thing. I kind of maybe want to look that up as I'm talking to you guys here. But he did a great job. Uh, his role, he was this guy in the movie called Dukovic. And, yep, he was nominated for one Oscar. What movie was that for? Let's see real quick. Nominated Best Performance by an Actor Leading Role in Tinker, Ta Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. And I did see that in the theaters, and I was so super-duper confused. But anyway, he did a great job in the role as the villain. Like, seriously, this was a... I was like, damn, this dude is not messing around. Like, okay, do what he says, or he just doesn't care. He just did not believe in authority. You know, he was just like, you know, no one can control me. I can do what I want. There is no government, no power system that can threaten me. Get out the way, or you're going to die. And for the most part, he lived up to his threats. And so he was a... You know, a good villain, a worthy foe to, uh, you know, deal with. As far as the rest of the movie itself, I'm usually one that is not too fond of opening credits. Uh, but this one, the opening credits in the movie had a purpose and it really got me excited for the movie. As soon as the movie started, you know, it's just like, zoom down the highway and you're going, you know, super fast and you're not slowing down until the end. You know, even sometimes I wanted the movie to slow down. Uh, and that just kind of gets to the action itself. I mean, there's nice, uh, you know, gun battles. There's nice hand-to-hand. -hand, and there is nice uh, car chases as well. And the hand-to-hand -hand was uh, done quite well, uh, especially from Samuel Jackson. I don't know if that was a body double or a stuntman or something like that. But I was just like, oh, my God, Samuel. Okay, I see. I didn't know you can move like that. And I, that's what I was about to talk about earlier with this character. I'm really impressed to see Samuel Jackson do this well in a, a movie that contains this much action. When they put a machine gun in his hand for the first time, I was very impressed. And it, it didn't seem like, oh, this is just Samuel Jackson with a gun. Like, he really seemed like a real character, like a real ass a assassin as he was playing in this movie. He's the assassin. Ryan Reynolds is the bodyguard. And Ryan Reynolds is trying to protect Samuel Jackson for reasons I don't want to disclose here in this review because I don't want to spoil it for you. But Samuel Jackson was doing his thing with the gun. I was like, okay, you know, I was very impressed. He did, you know, it was um, like, what, what movie was that? I think the movie was SWAT where, yeah, I, I just wasn't buying him as a cop per se. In that movie, he just did not fit the role um, you know, there was one scene of him towards the beginning of that movie when they, they showed him in the gym and it just didn't gel with me too well. And then there was that other movie, Lakeview Terrace. He was a crooked cop in that movie. And, uh, you know, him, you know, in a uniform with a, you know, gun, you know, I, I just, you know, that wasn't an action beat movie, but you know, it just didn't gel with me either. But this right here, Samuel Jackson kicking ass in this movie, driving cars, shooting guns and chopping throats with his hands. That was dope as hell. Uh, I, I really did like that a lot. Now, something to take away from this movie uh the movie no i don't want to take away i want to give it to give give the movie this because it's also a comedy and the movie is funny as hell i mean i was laughing my behind off from beginning to end and i think i've already said that but yeah i really was um I mean, people are just being themselves. Ryan Reynolds is being himself with a dry humor, and Samuel Jackson is screaming cuss words all the time. And there's one scene that's been in the trailers over and over and over again, like in all three trailers. And it's just kind of one of those things where you kind of say to yourself, okay, I laughed my butt off doing the trailer. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to feel the same way in the movie because it, it, it ruined it here. But no, it's still funny in the movie. Uh, very funny and you just kind of get to see what leads up to that point and i don't i don't want to ruin it for you because then you'll be looking out for it because i honestly forgot but 
There is nothing. Every joke that's funny in the trailers is still funny in the movie. Um, like I was just really just not even chuckling, but laughing out loud at a few times. But that can also be to the film's downfall. Down, I said downfall, downfall because while while the mo- the movie started out to be an action movie with sprinkles of comedy, but then the second half it turned into a comedy with a blizzard worth of action. And so you may be saying to yourself, well, Brandon, what's wrong with that? They, it seems like they, you know, they started out subtle and towards the second half of the film, they cranked up the comedy and cranked up the action. But sometimes it was just too much. There was one action scene to where Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds was together. And uh, Samuel Jackson's character is named Ken Cade and Ryan Reynolds' character, I think is named Michael. They were in an action scene together. Then they got split up. Samuel Jackson goes over here to the right to do a car chase action. Sam uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds goes over here to the left to do um, hand to hand action, but then they come back together to finish off the action scene. It was it was done well, it was beautiful, but at the same time, it was just so long and so much action. By the by the time the first action set piece was done, I thought we was gonna get a break. I can catch my breath. Then you shoot over to this hand to hand, and I'm like, damn, it's a lot of action here, kind of action fatigued or whatever. And then you're sprinkling all the comedy and you're like, okay, can I take this movie seriously? I mean, like, you know, they are blowing off heads and stuff, but they're making me laugh too. And to take something away from the film is just sometimes like they, the film was kind of self-aware because they kind of did address this with the character. But one of the particular characters was like unkillable. And they made sure that you know that they beat that, you know, they beat that dead horse over and over again to make sure that you knew this character was pretty much unkillable. And that's kind of like a running joke in the movie. But at the same time, it kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth because it doesn't really leave any stakes. Because if I know that this character is going to make it out of any situation whatsoever, you know, then it's like, you know, I'm not worried. I'm not at the edge of my seat, given that is part of his character. And that's what makes the movie. But. You know, um, they just could have ironed it out just a little bit more. You know, it just, you know, it could have been fleshed out. I mean, yeah, it it just was, um, you know, two main characters. One character I felt like, okay, you know, you possibly could die. The other person I was like, yeah, you're probably going to get out of this. And just some of the action scenes that was just making it too easy for him, you know. But um, then again, it was still fun and I had a great time. I love the action. I was laughing my behind off. Let me see. Is there anything else that I want to talk about? And I really can't think of anything else. Um, I, I mean, I really did enjoy this movie. It, I mean, I have some pretty good expectations and the film met my expectations. And, um, you know, this is something that I'm going to buy when it comes out on a home video release. I, I, I did enjoy it. And if you just want a silly action movie, you know, just to you know, kickback popcorn flick, you know, enjoy yourself. I do recommend this. If I had to rate the Hitman's bodyguard out of a one out of 10, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Yes. An 8.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. What did you think of the Hitman's bodyguard? Did it turn you off? Did it turn you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can also click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. You can go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it. And also, guys, look me up on social media. And I, ver- I made it very easy for you guys because you see it on your screen. And plus, there's a link to all of that in the description box down below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for the Hitman's Bodyguard starring Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.